Okay, let's go to Daytona. Destruct, analyze, deconstruct, analyze, and, rebu- and rebuild. Where's my water? Yeah. Oh, I got water. Okay, good. My throat still feels dry. I didn't drink anything yet. I, didn't. I just woke up like an hour ago. I'm like, I'm like, what the heck? The girl's been busy. Waking up at four something in the morning, going to work, and then going back to work. Oh boy. It's weird. Depending on our understanding of things is a very important process. If you want to create feel, creation feel copying something that's just fun won't cut it. That's true. That's how I do it at least. Yay, racing game. Pursuing a realistic driving experience won't leave much room for creating. Yeah, I know. Something more fanciful. We'll start by deconstructing. What's fun about racing games? This is my thing. This is my thing. Let's start with assumption that drifting is fun. Ay, 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 ay. Hot wheels on least. That's cool. Drifting is clear clearing a curve in which you let your wheels slide against the turn. Hmm? Is popularized in, in Japan? Drift is obviously not as fast as grip driving. Yeah, obviously. If we're trying to make our game fun, I don't think it's that fun because it just it just ruins your tires. And it's noisy. <laughs> burning that rubber, literally burning rubber, and ruining your transmission. Anyways, if we're trying to make our game fun, this is about fun. This is not about technical stuff. A great, yeah, great way to do so is to make drifting itself fun. Oh. Well, Mario Kart? I feel like Mario Kart, is it fun or is it more like a technique to help you win because it's kind of, fr- the racing game is kind of frustrating? But, yeah. Forza, let's analyze. Why is it fun? Why does drifting feel fun? Because you're near the wall? Action, yep, yeah, risk and reward. That works, okay. Ridge Racer! Lose control with nothing but whales in front of them, a dangerous situation. Maybe that's why I never do it, because you know what? Now that I think about it, wait, but if they break well and clear the curb, they come out on the other side of, with an abandon. You know, I'm so traditional. I'm, I'm such a boring person. Like, because <coughs> you know, I don't drift while driving, obviously. So when I'm in the arcade or if I'm playing. I'm for years, for years while playing racing games, I never thought about drifting in the corner. Never thought about it. Even even with the um like the Sega rally games and they were popular back then. Never thought about it. I just thought about how did it get to the turn like naturally cuz I'm thinking do I have to turn early? Do I have to turn on the further side and so on. I didn't even know there was there was a um you know, drifting. Like, cause I don't think I don't think that way. You know, gas brake, manual, gear shift. Even though I didn't use it that much, it's not that bad. But tight turns, like virtual racing. Like I don't even know how to play. And virtual racing is also on is on the Nintendo Switch. But I I, ref- I kind of refuse to pick it up because it's really hard. So it just I don't even th- I never thought about it like clearing the curb. But now it's just a, it's like a it's just a winning technique now, especially with Mario Kart. You drift in Mario Kart to get some get an extra power up. And then people and other games are adopting that little gimmick there. Break wheel and clear the curb. You know you have to break during a turn. I understand that. You know slow down. You don't want to go go ninety an hour through a throw curb. I understand that. They come out the other side with advantage. I just think about passing and how do you go about making drifting even more fun? I kind of want to play that. That's kind of cool. Boosting the player's score for a drift doesn't really have tangible effects. Are you talking about racing games? If you award the player permanent power-up, skills drifters will run away with the two easy. Boosting speed for a successful dream. Okay, there you go. See, we were just talking about that. We were just talking about that. If nothing else, we need to give players a bit of speed so that their risk is rewarded. Last, we rebuild. 
Need for speed. Instead of increasing speed through the drift, it's better to increase it after the player clears the curve. Not in the middle, but once it's done. What if we combine drifting with the concept of charging up power? That's Mario Kart. Daytona! Hit the brakes. See, I didn't think about that when they released the end of the curve. There's a boost. I don't even think about that. What if I'm describing here is thought process by Kirby Air Ride? Oh, shoot. Charge up as you slide sideways. It's a race game that you can play with only one button. I didn't make it that way just to stand out from the crowd. I just deconstructed, analyzed, and rebuilt one. That's where I ended up. One button? My hobby is actually driving, not games. Yeah, we know. You know. We know about your cars. Take cues for an experience. I hope you're not driving crazy, buddy. At the end of the day, I design things that I think will be fun as games. Loading. You need to be able to build, both examine the fun in a game and think of ideas to elevate it if you want to succeed. And then the more you practice that process, the better you understand what will be. So remember, deconstruct, rebuild, and bring out the originality in your game. I feel like that takes a lot of time to think about. And he just talks about speed a lot. Like, you really have to have a prompt way of thinking.